Hi, this is the last of our three videos on finding the locus of a complex number. And this one is by far the most difficult one and in NCA is usually marked at the excellence level. Um, in this case we've got two moduli and a constant involved and the result of this is that we get a locus which is an ellipse. OK, here's our example. This one will be slightly more involved. So the first thing we do is we let z equal x plus i y. We substitute it in and we group the real and imaginary parts. We now find the moduli of um, each of these um, complex numbers. And remember that's the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared square rooted. Um, we want to square both sides now to get rid of the square roots. I prefer to do it when I've got my constant with the smaller of the two sides. So I'm going to take away 3 from both sides. I'm then going to square both sides. Now the right hand side is going to be quite simple. Um, I've just got rid of the square root and I have expanded the y plus 1 all squared. The left hand side, well we have x squared plus y squared square rooted all squared, which just leaves me with x squared plus y squared. I've got minus 3 squared, that just gives me positive 9. And then I've got minus 3 times the square root of x squared plus y squared twice to give me the minus 6 x squared plus y squared. And the next thing I'm going to do is simplify by cancelling out the x squareds and the y squareds. And now I'm going to take the square root to the other side just to get rid of the negative and bring everything else to the left hand side. Now we're going to square both sides in a similar way that we've done before. So then the next stage, which is going to simplify as we go along now, is I'm going to multiply out the um, right hand side and then I'm going to bring everything over, um, so the x squared, the y squared and the y to one side and leave the constant on the other. Now what's important here is the x squared's fine, it's on its own, but I need to do something with that y squared and that y, and what I want to do is complete the square. So I want to get a single y squared. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide through by 4 and then factorise out 8. You can do that step in between if you want to. So now I can complete the square on y squared plus 1. If you're not sure how to complete the square, you can see one of my earlier videos. But effectively, we just um, put y and then we put plus because it was plus y, a half because it's half the number of y's that we had, all squared, and then we take away that half squared. I'm now going to multiply through by 8, and so I've got 8 times that squared bracket, and a quarter times 8 is minus 2. So we add um, the 2 to both sides. There's a few steps here. I was running out of space. Um, add 2 to both sides to get 18. And then divide by 18. Because I know this is an ellipse and I want it equal to 1. So we'll end up with x squared over 2 plus um, 4 times that bracket and um, y plus a half squared over 9. Now that's enough, but so just in case you want to know, that's um, an ellipse which has got a centre at 0 minus a half, and it's got a major axis of length 2 root 2. So I just square root, square, square root the 2 under the x squared, and it's got a minor axis of, um, let's see, what's that going to be? 3 over 2. So I square root the 9 over 4 to give 3 over, um, sorry, it's just going to be 3. I square root 9 over 2 to give 3 over 2, but I double it, so it's just 3. In the description below, you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in infield with Winfield.